Howdy, howdy. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, from downtown Oakland at the Oakland City Hall at Oscar Grand Plaza here for the No Coal in Oakland rally that's getting ready to start. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. How is everybody doing today? It's a beautiful sunny day. It's about 80 degrees here in Oakland. So we'll be able to get started here in just a second. over here to the front of the rally. volunteers, all the sponsors, which we will be calling throughout of the event. We want to thank all of you, all the organizations, uh, and this wonderful, wonderful, awesome bike, uh, uh, energy, solar energy, biking, electricity. Let's give the bikers a hand. Come on. All right. Awesome. Working together works, and as long as we together like this, we will always have a future for generations to come. Yeah. So let's give our hands together for Rock the Bike, yeah. Paul Freeman, all right. Let's keep up the good work, working together works. So we're here today to let the city know, let the community know that we are banning coal from Oakland, banning coal from China, from shipping from Utah into Oakland. We don't care how much money people throw at this, we do not want this in Oakland. All right. Why are we here? No coal! Why are we here? No coal! No coal in Oakland, all right. So let's move forward. We're, we're going to ask for Desiree Harp to come. Desiree Harp recently participated Sorry in a walk that. for exits where a group of Navajo youth walked a thousand miles across the Navajo Reservation to raise awareness around resource extraction and to encourage communities to raise up against companies like Peabody Coal. She is the former, uh, the founder of the Meswa Wapo Language Revitalization Program and she used her music to help preserve her indigenous language. She survives uh, currently work for Hip Hop for Change where she helped educate youth on cultural survival, social justice, and environmental justice. Desiree Harp, let us put our hands together as she comes. Yat Ash and Azrayin Shah 
Ikale Kame Inomah Nokse e Onatsatis. I come from the Diné people as well as the Onatsatis people, and I'm here today to honor the ancestors of this land, and the Ohlone people are right below us and all around us, and so I just want us to understand whose land we're on, and I want us to give thanks for all of our ancestors. The same way that we treat the earth is the same way that we treat the woman and right now we are living in a rape culture and so it is important that we learn how to honor our woman and so I wanted to open up the space by singing a woman honoring song and then going into a traditional Onatsatis prayer song that I wrote. Catch my 
breath inside my place I see a face on the horizon shifting shapes Can I change what's in my heart if I sing to the stars will they sing back? If the sun made holy breath through photosynthesis can I sing a star chant? Balance can be restored when we're speaking living words that come from holy breath and have the strength to heal the world I am reborn every day and I pray that I say what I mean and I open the way for the rays of the sun to get into my brain I am not clouded by yesterday's pain and faith is trust do I believe I am capable of anything? Or do I hesitate to manifest my dreams? All the elements and ancestors are speaking through my heart, body, mind, and soul. As I walk through life, they give me all the strength I need. We've been walking. to the water. Wonder when we're gonna stop causing division Get back to the ceremony, back to the land We all been displaced and we all need a hand We have gifts that we naturally possess And we nourish those gifts and we try our best We give up and we don't make money Because all those gifts can help so many The water flows Our souls speaking clearly now Stay true to who you are Remember why you're Whether we're human beings what about migratory birds who have been for it found? We all come from water, rivers, trees, and bay. We all come from water in our very veins. Let the water flow. Let the water flow. If the oil is the blood and the coal is the liver and the copper is the milk of the earth that delivers, what are we taking to get what we want? It's all spilling out into where fish spawn. We're affecting years of reproduction, not understanding the cause of destruction. If a million fish die, what happens to us? And if the water's on fire, how much longer till we bust? 
Thank you for all the work that you're doing to fight the cold in Oakland. Let's give her a big hand of applause. Oh! Oh! Awesome! Awesome. We have all in common social justice, environmental justice, to make sure no coal comes to Oakland. Let's, why are we here? No coal in Oakland. All right, we have here the no coal in Oakland. Michael Kaufman, which is one of the leaders of the No Coal in Oakland Coalition. Let's give a big hand of applause for him. He's one of the hardest working guys out here. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming out on such a beautiful day. It's a little warm out here, so please drink water while you listen to this fantastic rally. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Michael Kaufman. I'd like to welcome all you fossil fuel fighters on behalf of No Coal in Oakland. We are very close, very close to a great victory for the people of Oakland. Fourteen months ago, when the secret deal to ship coal through West Oakland was exposed, they said there was no way to stop the developer. He'd already slipped through an environmental review, review where no one asked what exactly he was planning to ship through the new terminal he was going to build down by the Bay Bridge. He threatened to sue the people of Oakland if we got in his way. Well, no coal in Oakland. All of us said there had to be a way. We've mobilized and organized. We've rallied and petitioned our elected representatives for over a year to keep Oakland from becoming the biggest exporting city on the West Coast. Thousands of you signed petitions and letters, made phone calls, paid visits to your elected officials. We reached out to allies in the labor movement who are here, the faith movement who are here, the environmental justice movement who are here, the racial justice movement who are here, and the public health community who are all here today. Together, you, I, all of us have created an extraordinary powerful movement to fight the developers, one of the most powerful men in Oakland, a friend and business partner of our governor, Jerry Brown. And we've been heard. But, and it's a big but, we haven't won yet. We have only created the conditions for victory. Yesterday, the city published an ordinance and a resolution put forward by Mayor Schaff and Councilman Cal that will prohibit the storage and handling of coal at the bulk terminal anywhere in Oakland. On Monday evening, this coming Monday evening, the council will finally vote on this strong ordinance that it would effectively ban coal exports from the city of Oakland. This is exactly what we've been fighting for for 14 months. But, and it's a big but, will the City Council vote for it? We're here to say the City Council must pass the ban. Pass the ban. Pass the ban. Pass the ban. There can be no compromise. No last minute tampering with the strong legislation that city staff have put forward. We say to the City Council, that we have their backs if they courageously ban coal, and then if the developer sues the city. What do we want? No coal! What do we want? No coal! What is the goal? No coal! Ban coal! No coal! No way! No coal! No compromise! Ban coal! No way! No way! No coal! No compromise!
Thank you all for being here. All right. You yeah. all look great. Thank you. And for those of you just joining us, uh, we're here at uh, Oakland City Hall in downtown Oakland, California. We're here for No Coal in Michael Oakland. Michael Collins.